Hey, hey, hey. It's a brand new day here on... What? Welcome back to Nine Acres. I'm Dale. So glad to see you guys today. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, I thought I would bring you guys along. We got to do some checking on uh, some bacon seeds up in here. And uh, they broke their water, so... I'm gonna try to give them a little water today. They haven't had a drink for about an hour and uh, they go crazy when it's time to get a drink. So I gotta fix a waterer. It's about time to get these piglets moved out of the small pen because they finally got big enough. I don't have to worry about them squirting through every little hole everywhere. Cause when I got them, they were little bitty guys and you haven't seen them for a while, but I'm going to take you along as we go and check on the pigs here. I believe they've grew just a little bit i got them a little uh, extra pan, pan um because they just tended to want to jump on top of each other over the pan and then it was interesting with this new one here that i put down they all wanted to play with it they were interested in playing with that pan but let's make sure they're all here. One, two, three, four. Wait, you moved. One, two, three. Quit getting over theirs. Don't you know to stay in one spot? One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang it, they quit. They keep moving. I can't figure out how to get them to stay in one spot. I got an idea. I think that might work. Let's look. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. They're all here. I ain't got one in another pasture somewhere. That's because up to this point, they haven't been moved to a pasture because, like I say, they've been so small, I was afraid they'd get out. Now Mr. Barksy barks a lot, has to bark. So we're going to be moving them out here into this pen. Um, in the next... By this weekend, I got to get some parts for my waterer because the part I picked up is wrong. So tomorrow when I'm in town, I'm going to pick up the right part to fix the big waterer so I can get them back on big water. By big water, I mean, I use an IBC tote. I've showed that to you before. I'll show you guys repairing it tomorrow when I get the parts. We're gonna get the IBC tote fixed. We're gonna get these kiddos out here on some open lot. We're gonna put them in the in the catch lot for right now, clean it up, and then I'll open the gate to the next paddock, which is overgrown with giant ragweed. And they love ragweed. Um gave them a little snack there so i could count them uh i've got to grind some feed um in the next this weekend um probably saturday or sunday i'm gonna try to get some feed ground so i can start feeding feeding them my own mix of ground feed luckily the corn has been shelled so it's all here uh, I just got to go and hook up the grinder and get me some bean meal and some other goodies and grind up a batch of feed, put in the bulk feeder so I can start feeding them daily. So we can start putting a grow on these kiddos. Um, but I'm glad you guys come along, check the count with me because I've been a little worried that the count wouldn't be right. As you can tell, they're starting to decide that maybe they're tired of being in the little barn. And it's time that they do get out of the little barn. But up to that point, it's been pretty hard for me to turn them loose. Because they could go right through a hole in the fence, you know, that, that would help hold them in normally. But they were so small when I got them. They needed protected from the elements. Um, but... They've grew up enough now. It's time to become big boys and girls and get out here in the real world. And by the way, if I haven't told you, I like pig butts and I cannot lie. Stop! It's picking time. Guys, really, I'm having a lot of fun. If you guys haven't went and checked out Gillum Farms, which my last video was about us going, watching them race, the Judgment Day car, their 69 GTO. Guys, check out their channel. It's so much more than racing. The Flip Flop Farmer, Johnny, has a lot of great things going on in his farm. He has dozing, he has hunting. 
Um, they ran us bring us cattle. And so I'm kind of get kind of jibbing him a little bit because of how he counts cows. But I've been there, Johnny. Old cattle man myself. Just now a pig guy. And I know what it's like. You got to get that count right so that you make sure everybody's at home still. Guys, come back again. I'm going to fix that water when I pick up water part. It's tomorrow. I promised you a video on the 1050 to show you what to check over before you take off. Go mow your pastures and so on. I still have got some of that to bring you. So um, there'll be a lot more coming from Nine Acres Channel and more to do back here on the farm again. I know we've been doing some playing, running around, but hey, farm life's still going on around here, guys. Let me know down in the comments what kind of content do you enjoy seeing? Is it farm content? Is it traveling? Do you like what we've been doing by mixing it up? Let us know. And as promised, podcast coming back, new days and times. We're going to start dropping the podcast on Mondays. So you'll have devotional on Sunday, podcast on Monday. We're going to fill in between between the homestead hangout Thursday with video drops. And hopefully you stick around because guys... You never know what old Dale's going to do around here. Might be cooking, might be dancing. We might even get us some horses, you know, and start riding the prairies. You think I got a cowboy hat enough to do that? I mean, we went cowboying and done some cattle work the other days. Yep. But I spent a lot more time working on the tractors hey guys till next time farm on keep strong i love you and so does god da, 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 da. can't touch us do, 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 do. Do, do, do. can't touch us Well, that's my foot.